Hello Scorpio and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2024 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Scorpio. What we're going to do is we're going to pull an overarching energy, look at your general energies too, and then look specifically at love, romance, relationships, money, career, finances, and any other thread that comes out. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. I have to say, I've been getting the messages across the board quite a lot for the readings too. Spirit will say what he wants to say. So we have strength. The Ace of Pentacles. The Moon. We have the Hierophant, King of Cups can be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, male or female or the energy of the card. This can be you. King of Cups can be Scorpio for me as a reader in the Minor Arcana, could be someone that you're connecting to. Let's see what we have in terms of love, romance, relationships. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. For the month of May 2024, Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Scorpio? We have an Emperor. And we have a chariot. Let's see what we have for you in terms of money, finances, career. Six of cups. And we have the four of pentacles. Let's see what we have for you, Scorpio, as an angel answer message. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Angel spirits guides message for Scorpio. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two cards. I've got trust. And I've got yes. <laughs> I always like it when this uh, appears in a reading. I don't think it's come out so far. Um because it can be someone saying yes to you, you saying yes to somebody, answered prayers, you know. Um, I've just been told to surrender and trust. Okay, let's pull a Romance Angel card for you. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. We have flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. This is just kind of like a very refreshing energy. Um, could be a flirty energy here. More of a fun energy. Bottom of the deck, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And let's pull a card for money areas. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Scorpio. We have exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have a very high energy have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. I'm going to pull a couple more cards here, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio. 
Number 34, Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. So there's a new beginning here. Healing, happiness, recovery. Hostility is number 26. It might be healing hostilities in some way. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Let's pull you a power animal oracle card. We have frog purification, clear out the clutter. This can be about, I mean, clearing, clearing out energy can be about detoxing, cleansing, um, purging, you know, letting go of that which doesn't serve you. Uh, it can also be linked with things like forgiveness as well. They're not limited to that. Could be practical things as well. All right, Scorpio. So we have trust, we have yes, and we have the strength card. Let's have a look at your business areas first. And again, I am feeling this, this reading across the board. I've been getting them with all the readings. Um, strength is when we face something that's difficult to face. It, it requires uh, facing our own insecurities, fears, doubts as well internally. Um, but it's also facing something in our external environment as well. So it might well be that there's something to face, but knowing that you are strong enough, knowing that you have the inner power, the inner courage, the inner resoluteness to face something, deal with it and overcome it. Uh, it requires a degree of courage, but you have that and that's what you're being told. It also reminds us not to, when we face things head on, not to let ego play a part, you know, but to really connect to that kind of higher self energy in terms of when we face something and be truly honest with ourselves in terms of how we face something, deal with it and overcome it. So it might well be here, Scorpio, that you're feeling that something, I mean, certainly in terms of relationships, you might be feeling that something needs to be addressed. Something takes a degree of, of strength in facing and dealing with it. So this can be that kind of energy here. You know, I just want to start on that. I was going to do money career first, but I'm getting that thread already. So let's let's continue. Because the King of Cups and the Moon energy, this is where you're really kind of like maybe dealing with matters of the heart listening to your instinct and your intuition and deciding, can I, can we really rise above this situation? I feel like this is uh, the potential either of an existing relationship or it's somebody returning into your life again from the past in some way. So however that manifests for you, the King of Cups and the Moon energy, there's a level of uncertainty, but intuitively you feel what you need to do because it's an unknown factor. Emotions might be high. Um, this is where you just have to feel your way through a situation here and trust in how you're facing with a reality, you know, being truly honest with yourself. Okay, when if I face this situation, what do I really want to do? How do I really want to face this and overcome it in my truth? So this is that kind of energy here, Scorpio. Because the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles, this can be having faith having faith in starting over on a brand new path uh, that represents that sense of a new beginning, can be in the home and property as well with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, but it's just about having faith in starting over, uh, starting on a brand new path, um, having an opportunity to build something, again, solid and stable, maybe having gone through some kind of hostilities here, some kind of fallout, there is healing available here, um, so this just feels that kind of energy here, Scorpio, in terms of you're facing something and dealing with it, but deciding to kind of like, uh, it feels like putting, uh, taking a, a step forward on a new beginning, opening a new door with a person and just having faith. Now the Hierophant can be linked with, you know, institutions, family, uh, long-term committed relationships, marriage, it can be on that front. Uh, but it can be quite a spiritual energy where we, we, we talk to a mentor or a teacher 
uh, somebody who might guide us or mentor us or, you know, we get advice from um, for the highest good. Germany Spirit will work through that person to, to help us figure out an issue, to help us find some kind of solution. So if you're not sure, do talk to somebody who you consider will give you good counsel. Can be a holy person, can be, um, again, somebody who you consider a mentor or a teacher, somebody who will give you the best advice possible. This can be that kind of energy here. It can manifest as a person. Uh, but it can also be linked with, like I said, the institutions of, you know, the traditional areas of life, family, you know, a relationship, committed relationship, marriage. This is the energy here where you're having faith, even leaning on your spiritual faith to start over, you know, even though there's a level of uncertainty, doubt uh, and water under the bridge, likely something's happened here that's made you question, maybe question whether you want to move forward, whether you can. Maybe trust was challenged as well here and because there's a level of real uncertainty here. I think that this is about um, that first step to building back up. And that's what I'm getting here. When I move here, Scorpio, again, the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, this can be the energy here that somebody, this can be either somebody who you've, you've, no, you've known for a long time, you know, you've got history with, you've got nostalgia with, you've got memories with. This can be love romance relationships, but the Six of Cups can also indicate uh, a long-term friendship. It can represent family can even be, you know, a business partner, you know, if we were talking about business. So it's, it's somebody who you have history with, nostalgia with, memories with. The energy with the, with the Four of Pentacles, it just feels like not ready to let go just yet. Um, and there's just that kind of feeling here of, of uh, there is a level of self-preservation, self self-protection with the Four of Pentacles as well. But I'm feeling this kind of energy here of, of, if you're being truly honest with yourself in facing something head on and dealing with it, you're deciding and trusting to almost like have an opportunity to plant new emotional seeds. Um, this flirty behavior and express your love, it might well be that kind of like refreshing new start. Um, even renewals, even marriage barrel renewals, you know, that would be the energy here as well. Renewal of a relationship, even the celebration of that coming through a difficult time would be focused on here too. I think that there is a kind of self-preservation energy attached to this. I mean, if you've been through hostilities, you're going to feel that a little bit. But I think it's almost kind of like I'm not ready to, to let go of this either just yet. The Emperor and the Chariot as energies... This is somebody who is likely wanting to do the right thing by you um, or you're deciding, you know, you're taking control and taking charge of a situation and deciding with the chariot energy, let's try and overcome the issues between us and see if we can claim that sense of success and victory over them. So this is the energy here. This is what I'm seeing. I feel, I feel that you're just kind of like going through some kind of process, whether... Yeah, again, can I truly let go of what's happened and detox and cleanse it and purge it and start anew and embrace that renewal and rebirth? This is the energy at play here. Your instinct is going to be really strong, but there is a path here that looks to be very strong to personal healing and happiness. Now, the energy at play here, um, we have an emperor. The emperor can be linked with a father figure. Um, could also be, again, somebody who is uh, maybe older in your life, connected to you in some way. Um, so if it's not kind of like a parent, for example, uh, this can be, you know, uh, somebody who uh, is my, maybe older. It can represent a father and child as well. Um, whatever the Six of Cups is, this can be here, Scorpio, you're deciding to take the reins of a situation and see if you can overcome the issues between you. Because in strength, being truly honest with yourself, that's what you're deciding to do. That if you, you know, this is the energy here. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here for the reading. Now, the additional message with the Six of Cups, it can be someone returning from the past as well. Somebody who you have history with, nostalgia with, memories with. 
And again, the there is a level of self-preservation and self-protection here, you know, at play. This can also represent somebody uh, if if something ended between you uh, a while ago. Th they didn't quite let go of it. You know, this can also be that kind of energy here where I didn't quite let go of that person, didn't quite have. Uh, the closure, you know, didn't quite let go of it. So there could be an element of that too. This is having faith in, in starting over. Again, it could be a practical thing, moving, relocating, starting over in the home, the family, or emotionally, or a combination of both. Uh, and the same message applies, seeing if you can overcome the issues between you and truly move on from the past. This is the energy here. Now we have the energy of yes and trust. <laughs> I think maybe Spirit has given you a bit of a road marker here, but free will here, Scorpio, that's the energy that I have for you in terms of love, romance, relationships. Let's have a look at money aspects here. I want to go over here um, because the, the Four of Pentacles, it can be when we are... Yeah, it can be when we're potentially being careful with money uh, it's when we hold on to every coin because that's what the circumstances demand it might well be that's the scenario that you're kind of like dealing with here Scorpio again the six of cups can actually represent um, a soul connection a soulmate somebody who might be supporting you through this it can also be like I said family friendships or returning to a place from your past in some way as well or going back to live with family uh, the same message applies but there can be a financial aspect to the Four of Pentacles. This is very powerful in terms of being very careful with money because that's the situation, you know, that's a situation that you're faced with. And you're being told as you're manifesting money, exercise, take care of yourself. Again, that door to, that personal door, that, that door to personal healing and happiness. This can be the energy here where you're absolutely taking care of you, pampering you self-care you know self-worth all of this kind of energy as you're manifesting maybe a change in your in your financial situation here the emperor and the chariot are very positive energies uh, because the emperor can be very powerful as a leader in business you know the emperor can be uh it could be your energy taking the reins and empire building you know manifesting success making it happen um it's a pretty empowering energy. It's a very focused energy. Um, but this could also be somebody who you're connecting to. An emperor can be a leader in business, a final decision maker, somebody who is is uh, experienced, you know, somebody who's been there, done it, seen it all. So very experienced energy. You could be dealing with that kind of person. I mean, the additional message with the emperor, it can also be to do with... Um, you know, uh, the emperor could also be a judge, you know, who can make some kind of, you know, decision. Uh, for the majority of you, this feels more like to do with money areas, business areas. It could also be um, if this was your own business and you were being very careful and conservative with money, could even be a family business, uh, you know, or a business that you're trying to hold on to because you've, you've had that business for some time. And you're wanting to get back on an even keel potentially with that business. Again, the emperor can even represent a new client, um, a new investor, a new partner. I mean, you know, I mean, the chariot is telling you that there's a victory here. There's a win. There's a success. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I just love the way the cards are coming out. Um, because even though there's a level of uncertainty here, Scorpio, you intuitively, you're just kind of like... This is what I love about this combination because the moon can be linked with hidden blessings. We don't fully understand how spirit's helping us working through a situation. I mean, spirit is working through a situation with the Hierophant and the moon energy It's linked to hidden blessings. Um, but we just surrender and trust. And this is that kind of energy in times of uncertainty where things aren't clear. Am I going to you know, rise above this situation? Am I going to get on top of it? Am I going to be back on my throne? You know, this is that scenario that takes a lot of strength and courage. But you're being told here, there's a new opportunity that is being brought in by spirit. Uh, I mean, this is almost kind of like uh, <laughs> something being handed to you on a, on a silver platter. I mean, that's the energy here. Uh, the Hierophant and the uh, the Ace of Pentacles in money terms is is 
Uh, it's a great energy here of, of spirit working the situation to bring you something, a golden gift. Uh, the, Ace of, the Ace of Pentacles can be a sum of money, very good in terms of the new, welcoming in new energies, new abundance. Um, in its true essence, it's a new abundant energy, new stability and security. But it can represent new job, new business opportunity, new contract, winning some kind of new investment, winning some new, con you know, some kind of new client, um, you know, new contract. You know, this can be that kind of energy because there's winning here with the chariot, whether you're competing. Um, I think this hostility could well be fierce competition. Um, but this just feels the energy here of of there is the golden golden gift coming in can be a sum of money as well but it's always special when an ace presents in a reading especially when it's next to the hierophant and the moon because it's a hidden blessing you don't see what's fully going to work out you just have to be strong in facing something head on and be resolute you know in in keeping on going but this is the energy here that that is being presented to you it's just lovely energy this is this just feels that sense of personal healing and recovery I mean, it could even be, again, the four, four of Pentacles, it could have been some kind of health issue, um, again, that affected your financial, um, your financial aspect in some way as well. This could also be that kind of energy when you had to be careful with money. So there are reasons why we're in the Four of Pentacles energy. But it's, then, it's in that survivalist mode, self-preservation and self-protection. Could even be because of someone else as well. Um, if it wasn't you, could have been with somebody else. You know, your your home, your family, your relationship, you know, however that manifests for you. But there's an opportunity to clear that out now and welcome in the new energies. And that's what you're being told. I mean, throughout this reading, it's about letting go of the old and in with the new. Uh, and it's the new door to personal healing and happiness and recovery. I mean, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, Scorpio, let's pull you a guardian angel message. I'm going to pull from this deck because they tend to stick together. So let's see what we have for you. Balance. Difference is a necessary part of human evolution and everything in life is comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists. Because of darkness, we are able to perceive light. Both are necessary. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you. Final message for Scorpio. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the month of May 2024. I forgot that we started with the lion and we're finishing with the lion. <laughs> You're being wrong. That, being wrong. You're being reminded that um, you are absolutely strong enough here. So we have lion, honour. Honour your soul and celebrate its journey. Bottom of the deck, I did look, so I'm going to say it. We had trust there and we've got trust here. We've got the deer. Trust. Approach the situation with a light heart. But if you look at that picture, do you see the picture? You can see the ghost deer watching over the other deer on earth. You see? Hidden blessings. Oh, I've, got to, I've got to read you the next one. We've got butterfly. Remember like I was telling you that you're emerging, you, you're, it's out with the old, in with the new, letting go of the old. This is the energy here of transformation. Uh, but the butterfly, you know, moves from the chrysalis to the butterfly. It's not an easy process, as I always say when this kind of energy appears. But, you know, something beautiful comes out at the end. It's deeply transformative. So we have butterfly emerging, take the leap of faith. Scorpio, that's what I have for you for the month of May. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.